another day, another bus. Well, it has seat belts. <laughs> Hey guys, we finally arrived to Cabanaconde near Colca Canyon and our trip took instead of five hours, the whole seven. And we're really tired, we came to have a meal at this very local place, had amazing soup with noodles. Yeah, uh, tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. start to Colca Canyon. Good morning, it's 6 a.m. start. Very sunny and we're about to have our breakfast and then head on to Colca Canyon. Okay, we just got the tickets for the hiking trail and luckily I only had to pay 40 soles because I'm from South America, otherwise you have to pay 70. Okay, we reached our first point at 7.18. It is the Mirador San Miguel. The story goes that Colca Canyon uh, for a long time was considered like the deepest canyon in the world until they found another canyon or they measured the other canyon that's on the other side um, of these mountains called uh, Canyon Kotawasi which was uh, I think about 160 meters deeper. So this one goes down uh, 3,191 meters which is a lot deeper than the Grand Canyon and the plan today is to hike down for about three and a half hours so that's 1000 meters uh, from here down to the bottom to the river and then we're going to trek for another three hours and we'll see if we can stay at somebody's house overnight we can get there hopefully before it gets dark and then tomorrow morning at maybe 5 a.m we'll wake up and make our way back to Cabandonade which is the town um, with the bus stop that uh, takes you back to Arequipa yeah. We spotted our first condor. Wow. It's coming our way. <laughs> Alright, so Colca Canyon is apparently famous for a huge population of Andean condor. These are massive, massive birds with like three meter wingspan and we were worried we're not going to be able to see them because there's a special place where tourists go which is three and a half well a two and a half hour hike from the city um, but we entered the trail at 8 a.m and at like 8 or 3 a.m we saw our first corner it came so close i mean it's just magical they're like, huge birds like little planes just flying over your head it's unbelievable There's a village there on just on the edge of that trail and below it there are hundreds and hundreds of Inca and pre-Inca terraces. So they were built by Incas almost 600 years ago and they're still used by the villagers basically for agriculture. I'm not quite 100% sure what they're growing. I think quinoa, uh, maybe something else. Oh, there's a swimming pool here. Oh, I'd love to jump in. I think we have to keep going. <laughs> How does it feel? Wow, it's actually quite cold. It's amazing. So we're actually sharing a set lunch menu that is 10 soles and it comes with a soup and a main so I'm gonna have the soup and Tokai is gonna have the main because we are not super hungry so this is perfect okay so this is mine and it's a kind of a stew potatoes uh, some jama meat rice and palta avocado bon appetit yes. We're trying to find a place to sleep, <laughs> so we're asking around. 
Hey, we can't find a single person in this whole town to ask where's the hotel. It's like an open shop and we went in and started shouting, there's no one. There's no one there. There's some kids here that are scared of us, they won't talk to us. We have no nowhere to sleep tonight. Alright guys, since we're on a budget, uh, we had to get a hotel that's cheap enough. So luckily I found a very interesting place. The owner is super nice and he gave us this really nice room for a very reasonable price. And we have the shared uh, bathroom and toilet. And this matrimonial, they call it the queen size bedroom, the TV even. So this is perfect for us. We even have a TV. Yeah, <laughs> and they have some very interesting animals here. Yeah, let's go check it out. So cute. <laughs> oh, they're scared. <laughs> These are called Kui. Okay, our host uh, has farmland here near the house and they grow amazing avocados, seven types of avocados. It was so tasty. And he also gave us some new fruit called Chirimoya to try and it was amazing, it was very tasty, very unique flavor that I've never tried before and I don't think they sell it in Europe or anywhere else. So, very nice dinner. Four fifty-five, and we have to start making our way to Kamala Konde. Yeah. It's not really bright yet, but uh, we have to catch the 11.30 bus and it's like four and a half hour hike. So I'll have blisters and legs are hurting. Hopefully we can make it to the bus. Are you ready for this, babe? No, I'm not ready for this. I don't know how I'm going to make it. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do this. Okay guys, so we're gonna go down all the way to that so-called oasis and then we're gonna keep going up on that trail. It's really steep. But I can see the Kawanakonda now, it's up there. All right, two and a half hours into our hike guys. Super tough and I got really tired in the last stretch. I'm not sure how long we have to go. I think it's not too far now, maybe 25 minutes. How are you feeling? Tired. <laughs> it's so tough. We need to get to the city center to get a bus ticket for 11.30 hopefully and maybe we'll have some space for breakfast and some of that. Um, but yeah, this hike is pretty tough but it's awesome. Can't complain guys. You guys at 9.51 uh, we already bought our tickets and we settled down in this cafe and for breakfast we're having a bonanza of carbohydrates. Rice, pasta, potato, a bit of chicken and we're gonna have some coffee so I'm ready for the seven hour bus. 